Learning English. Navigating the city with landmarks and street names. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to take a walk around the city, metaphorically speaking, as we focus on a crucial aspect of conversational English, giving directions. Specifically, we'll learn how to incorporate landmarks and street names while giving directions. This will not only make your instructions more precise, but also more engaging and natural. Landmarks and street names are essential elements when giving directions. They provide concrete points of reference that make directions easier to follow. For example, saying, turn right at the bakery, is often more helpful than saying, turn right after three blocks. A landmark can be any well-known object, building, or location that helps people identify where they are. Landmarks can include structures like a church, a park, a distinctive building, or even a colorfully painted house. On the other hand, street names are the names given to roads in a town or city for identification purposes. They are especially useful in cities where streets are planned and named systematically. To give directions using landmarks, you first need to know the key structures or places in your area. Once you're familiar with these, you can use them as reference points. Let's look at a simple example. To get to the library from here, walk straight down the street until you see a big yellow building. That's the town hall. The library is just next to it. See how the town hall, a landmark, was used to make the directions more understandable. When giving directions using street names, Remember to also use words that indicate direction such as, turn, go straight, at the intersection, and so on. Here's an example. To find the post office, go straight on Elm Street, then take the second right onto Oak Avenue. The post office will be on your left. In these directions, the street names, Elm Street, and Oak Avenue, are used as key points to guide the person to the post office. For the best effect, you can combine the use of both landmarks and street names in your directions. Let's see how. From here, head straight on Apple Street until you reach the big red church. That's St. Mary's. Turn right there onto Pear Avenue. Go down Pear Avenue until you see the city park on your left. The restaurant is right across the park. This way, the directions become more specific, easier to follow, and less prone to misunderstanding. And there we have it. Incorporating landmarks and street names can significantly improve the clarity of your directions. Now, you can help others navigate the city with ease and confidence. I hope this video has been helpful, and you're now more comfortable with using landmarks and street names when giving directions in English. Remember, practice makes perfect. So, keep practicing these new skills in your day-to-day -day conversations. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.